It's impossible to overestimate how much art affects our lives. Music, painting, sculpture, they all take us to a different world and give us new perspective on the world we live in. Well, a new friend of Crossroads, Siona Rouse, discovered a gallery in Lafayette that allows their local artists to share their many gifts. To have something here um, that, that shows everybody's artwork and the, the tremendous talent that we have in the area is just phenomenal. Phenomenal aptly describes a new addition to the square in Lafayette. Gallery 102 started as the brainchild of Russell Brown, a local attorney who recognized the need to support the artist of Macon County. So Russell Lafayette is about 5,000 people, so it's a small town, but you have quite an art scene. We do, we do, for a very small town. We have probably, uh, I think, per capita, more artists in Macon County than any other county in Tennessee. You can't, you can't prove that or disprove it, but that's my story. His story was music to the ears of Evelyn White, the president of the Macon County Arts Council, who remembers Russell's generous offer. Russell came to the Art Council um, about three years ago now and offered the front portion of this building for an art gallery if we were interested. And so we were very interested and so we started talking. It took us about a year and uh, just completed and got in just right before Christmas. And Gallery 102 became the Christmas gift that keeps on giving to artists as well as the community. We have several uh, events during the year for the community. Arts in Bloom is a spring event that we have. Uh, and then um, we have Art in the Park, and that's usually uh, like the second week in June. And we have approximately 200 students that come. It's free to all the students. It's t a two-day event, but the Art Council furnishes all the supplies and their time and volunteers. The gallery not only offers artwork and special events, it also encourages community members to create works of their own by offering classes. We have just got started with the classes and hoping there'll be a lot more, uh, but we're just asking each artist that is interested in doing the classes that, you know, that they do uh, offer their expertise in that area. And uh, uh, people are signing up, people are very interested in getting involved and in learning, you know, something new and, you know, maybe starting a new hobby and, and doing that type of thing. The color you add will simply push the other ones underneath right out of the way. One of our best classes so far, Miss Nancy Dahl, she's taught the alcohol inks and um, that has grown very fast. Everybody seems to be interested in that and of course Miss Nancy is a wonderful artist and everybody wants to learn her techniques. We've got a felting class that we've started, a metal smithing class uh, for doing earrings. I hope to have a whole lot more but that's just kind of where we've started at. What we initially set out to do was get different mediums. We have, I think, captured a lot of the mediums to try to have a mix of all the different mediums to represent all of the art forms. Gallery 102 artist Marla Davis's preferred media are oil and acrylic, using a technique called impasto. You use acrylic paints and you mix it with a gel medium and it gives a texture so that it makes it a little, a little thicker like an oil paint. Um, and then I use a palette knife to apply it so it's, it's less of a precise method and it's really about layering and texture so when you're done you get that kind of stucco look, a texture to it. Um, and then the vibrant colors from the acrylics. I'm less of a precise artist, so this, something like this works for me. <laughs> Lafayette is a small rural area, but we are richly blessed in talented artists. And they share so beautifully, you know, with everyone. It's just a richness that helps to fulfill one's life, um, you know, the beauty that is created. As you walk around the square, one of the things that the Art Council has done to enrich the county square is murals. Um, we have murals uh, that are up around the square. Community support for the gallery has been overwhelming. 
we have had so many to you know visit and stop by and ask how they can be a part of and want to be a part of it and uh, just very you know complimentary you know they can't believe that uh, little old Lafayette has you know an art gallery you know they're just kind of blown away with uh, with what's happening so it's been great and and the community has been so supportive and involved it's been great.